Yes, I do work for NASA as an astronaut. Uh, the clothes here are not just cosplay, although when I come here everybody thinks so, so nobody looks twice at me. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I wear this out in public and people are like, oh my goodness, but here it's like, yeah, just another guy and it's not really that cool a costume. So um, I am here uh, partly because I'm a longtime uh, science fiction fan and just, you know, enjoy being at a place like this, but also I'm here uh, telling folks about NASA. Um, we've got about 40,000 people here who get really, really excited about things that don't exist, okay, and we call them geeks or fangirls, right, for that reason. Uh, but someone who gets really, really excited about a thing that doesn't exist and then goes out and makes it happen, we call them an innovator or a visionary. And sometimes the line between the two is very thin. And so uh, what I hope to do here today is to get some folks excited about science and space exploration and maybe push a couple of folks across that line so they're going to get really excited about something and go make it happen and the future will be even cooler. Well, is that why you wanted to become an astronaut? Because you, were, you had the fan of science fiction before? Yeah, absolutely. And that's why you wanted to get into that? Yeah. Well, what so cooler job for a science fiction fan, right? Well, I sat in a panel yesterday on the female superheroes of planetary science. Yes. I started asking you questions about extraterrestrials and life on other planets. So I was like, I think it's cool. Yeah. But uh, what are your thoughts on that? Um, so the universe is really, really big. And in the last few years, we've found out that basically all stars have planets. Um, so the number of opportunities for life out there is enormous. And I would be very shocked if somewhere out in the universe there wasn't life. Now, I'm pretty sure that they're not coming here in flying saucers and picking people off of lonely roads and mutilating cattle. Right. It's a little bit different. Yeah. But I do agree with you. It's too massive for us to be the only one. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what you, where have you gone so, as an astronaut? Like um, so I've had one space flight. I flew on the space shuttle Atlantis in 2008 and our crew uh, had a two-week mission where we flew to the space station. We added a laboratory module to it. Um, it was the European Space Agency's Columbus lab. Uh, did a couple of spacewalks to outfit the outside of the lab and then came home. How much training? How long does it take for you ready to take a mission? Um, it's at least two and a half years. In practice it's more like six. Okay, are you ready to do some more? Uh, well, you have to ask my wife about that. <laughs> Space flight's hard on families. Yeah, it would be really scary. How does it feel up there? Like, it must be awesome to be able to look down. Yeah, so the view is incredible. Um, floating in space is like uh, being underwater in a warm swimming pool where you can breathe. Because <laughs> nice. you can just do whatever you want and everything floats around. Um, uh, the, you know, the food doesn't stay on the plate and the poop doesn't always stay in the toilet. So there's still some engineering challenges ahead of us to make life, you know, really, really comfortable up there. But uh, it's, it's amazing. Everybody ought to do it. Anybody in reasonable health can. The only barrier right now is the cost. And there are some uh, commercial space flight providers coming online now that hopefully will be able to start knocking that cost down so that more people can have that experience of seeing the planet from above. Oh, that would be awesome. But if it takes six years to train, so if somebody's just going just to see it, what would they need to do? Uh, if you're going as a tourist uh, for a few days, a couple of months of training would be fine, and most of that is just don't push the wrong button when you're on the space station. All that six years of training is to get you uh, psychologically ready to do incredibly important work with billion dollar hardware in a crazy scary environment and not screw up. Yeah. Okay. But physically, just being up there, as long as you don't have to do anything important, it's easy to do. Sign me up. Yeah, please do.